63-49. Huntington Express up by 14 over the Summit County Christian Knights out of Lansing, Michigan. They come down to the 304 today, and it's been a long one, just as long as their trip. And that and that school bus, we can't get over that, man. No, I can't. That it's a long way to travel on a hats school bus like them, that. Hats off to them boys. I hope their iPods had full battery life. <laughs> Shot up and no good by number three there, Cyril Ballon. Let's get past. And the shot and the putback shot no good by number 12, Tremere Burrell. More free throws, Tony. More free throws. This is our favorite part of the game. That's right. Absolutely. We have to really work on our conversation skills, man. I feel like we get closer on every big free throw game. <laughs> this is very true. Especially the tighter the games are. Charles Lee connects on it. Now Burrell, Shamir Burrell, number 44, Buchanan. Just his presence in the lane. by along now with the ball. Talking about Boulard, just him being that big of a body in the middle. It bothers teams. Charles Lee still pushing the ball up the floor there, and it's stolen away by Ballon. He's going to fire a three, and it's good. Chip, chip, chip away. That's what they're doing. And we know it's not over. 65-52, down by 13, minute nine to go. When the, straight, the reason why we're saying it's not over is the speed of these guys. I mean, you just don't know how fast they can score six points. But I would guess if um, they hit both of these free throw here, that'll do it. Make it a 15-point game, minute five to go. And he hits it. You call him that icing at that point, Tony? Yeah, I say this one. They got the nail started. He got the arm up, and he's ready to lay the smack down on it and put it, put the final nail in the coffin. Now, I smell what you're cooking. <laughs> oh, goodness. Them were the days. Yep. <laughs> when, when we thought it was real. <laughs> Adding to his point total, Tony. Yes, sir. He's 6-6 six six from the line. Charles Lee is 67-52. Under a minute to go and a long three taken by Jamel Allen, number 34, and rebound's going to go to Anna Fiok. Maurice Anna Fiok now gives the ball over to Charles Lee. 40. Now Jalen Beckham. Now Lee's going to start and dribble in and works his way back out. And he's going to run the clock out here on this one. 20 seconds and counting. Still 67-52. Charles Lee over to Anna Fiok. Now to Jeremiah Davis. Charles Lee. Maurice Anna Fiok. Try to go for it. Bular kept it alive. Goes back to Anna Fiok. They're going to get it back out to Lee. Two, one. And that'll do it. 67-52. Summit County Christian falls to the hand of the homestanding Huntington Express led by Coach Rob Fulford in only their second year as an academy. Huntington Prep doing an excellent, excellent job so far. And they got plenty of talent and they're deep and loaded. And they showed uh, the homestanding Huntington fans today. We're from West Virginia. And we're representing the state and we're going to we're going to take down some Ohio State teams for y'all. That's exactly. I mean, this is a big addition to the Huntington area, having a prep basketball academy. They should, they should see some great talent come through here in the next few years, Tony. And uh, it's just exciting to have an area. I know everything that's new, you know, normally gets kind of rejected in our in our state for, you know, initial period. But I think 
you know, Rob Fulford, he's a good guy. Anybody gets to talk to him, they'll like him. And, you know, I know he's going to lead all his players, you know, especially, you know, all these foreign kids and stuff. You know, it's a new new country for them, Tony. Not only, you know, they're away from home, but everything's new to them. And, you know, if you see them out, you know, in the Huntington area or in the mall or something, pat them on the back or a long way from home, they can handle some they can handle some friends, couldn't they, Tony? That's right. And um, I think people here in West Virginia need to really embrace this Huntington Prep team. These boys could have went anywhere in the country to play ball as they're some of the nation's best. And they chose the good old state of West Virginia to play that, uh, you know, to bring their talents here. And I think, uh, you know, I, they may not be nationally ranked right now, but I'm, I'm guaranteeing here if Coach Fulford and everything stays intact, I mean, I could see this team being a nationally ranked team, you know, out of West Virginia. Yeah. I mean, we don't have any pro sports here in West Virginia, so why don't people of West Virginia – embrace Huntington Prep and I think that's one thing that I'm going to put on my shoulders um, you know and try to get some you know try to spread the word of Huntington Prep out here to the state of West Virginia these are all good boys you know we've seen them today they were not much horsing around they all seem pretty focused they go to Huntington St. Joe you know so you know they got to be decent students in order to go that I'm, I'm, I'm sure right. so these are good boys and you know they're, they're they may not be from the state of West Virginia but you know, that's where they play, and that's the colors that they wear. The Huntington Express, again, winners here in this one, 67-62. We'll be coming right back with our WVSportsNet.com player of the game. All righty, and we're back here. You see here Logan and Chesapeake squaring ready to square off. But right now, it's time for our WV Sportsnet Player of the Game for the Huntington Prep and Summit County Christian Academy game. 67-52 winners was the Huntington Prep Express. And, John, who was our WVSN, WVSportsnet.com player of the game? Well, he had, he comes from Milwaukee, right, Wisconsin, yes, Alice Stater, Huntington Prep Express, Charles Lee. Going to uh, going to Cleveland State. He scored scored 14 points tonight, and it's not here. Davy Sportsnet. We talk about it all the time. It's not only you know the points you scored. It's the, it's the kind of activity you have on the court. Me and Tony was talking about it. Uh, he, I mean, he was just everywhere. His speed when we see him live. I mean, it's it's just unbelievable. So if you get a chance, you're in the Huntington area, drop by. You know, see Rob Fulford's team. You won't be you won't be disappointed. Congratulations, Charles Lee. You're our WVSportsnet.com player of the game. Congratulations to Charles Lee again, and we'll be right back with Logan Chesapeake as our basketball day is far from over as the out-of-state Chesapeake Panthers take on the Logan Wildcats, and we have the Battle of the Feline Species from state borders and the good old border wars, as I like to call it here on WV Sportsnet. So keep it locked in here on www.wvsportsnet.com. Your sports voice of the Valley. 